Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. What's going on, people? My name's Timmy Joe, making videos about computer... Computers on the internet, if that's a computer. Yeah, so what's up? New series idea, and we'll see if I can even get a couple more of these going for a future episode, but essentially, uh, I just thought of this new cool idea where I make the fun of hella computers that are uh, modded, maybe from the mid-2000s, weird computers, ugly computers, and if you have one you want to submit, just send it to the regular email, me at timmyjoe.com. But you'll get what I'm talking about in, in just a second here. So I had to scour the deep, dark web of the internet to find all these weird modern computers. And when I did so, I uh, enabled my VPN, Ivacy VPN, just to make sure no one was sniffing all the packets of what I was doing. And if you don't have a VPN, well, you're crazy. Because you could be susceptible to people looking at what you're doing on the internet. And that's no good. So I have a CVPN is the one I use. A wonderful VPN service that is very inexpensive. And hell, I'll even give you a 20% off of one, two, or five years down in the description. But if you're browsing the internet on Wi-Fi at work with your phone, make sure your employer is not seeing what you're doing. If you're browsing the internet on a public Wi-Fi, making sure no one in the coffee shop stealing what you're doing. And with the added bonus of portaling into different countries to watch streaming services like Netflix and what have you, uh, as if you're there, I'll give you access to more content. So links are in the description. You can use the codes and then the associated link to go save 20% off of a plan and uh, it helps the channel out and stuff like that, so thanks to Ivacy. So, on to the show, on to the new show, where I make fun of these computers on the internet. I know, a, a silly concept, right? So, this all starts from a uh, submission on my other show, New Plebs Try to uh, Sell Things on the Internet. And th this could have gone on that show for sure, but I just started to look at this less as something to purchase and more as just a work of art. Oh my goodness, look at this, it looks like a coffin a little bit, maybe a tombstone. Looks like someone took apart a Dell computer case and decided, hell, I'm gonna mod this new motherboard into a computer and it's gonna be real fun. So no listing of what the specs are and every other picture is just a picture either from a little further away you know, because that makes sense. Or it's a picture of some keyboards or peripherals or you know stuff that doesn't really matter. I don't even see that this computer has an external GPU, so that's a thing, but it's some sort of Dell, probably, you know, Core 2 Duo system or something with uh, whatever this, you know, probably Dell branded power supply is. Got a couple of hard drives up here. You know, he made this in some sort of shape of a coffin or something and $400, you know, but hashtag, you're not just buying the PC. You're buying the memories with it. You're buying his memories of this crappy PC he made. This looks like a coffin, right? Nope. This looks like a coffin. <laughs> because it is. It's a freaking child's coffin with a computer in it. It's a was meant for a dead baby. It was meant for a dead kid to go in there and he bought it and put a computer in it. It's the creepiest thing I've ever even heard of. And it's so hard to make fun of except for what is with his Hawaiian mustache shirt? That's that's great. But yeah, and he's, it's got two keyboards for some reason. It's got a little hidden keyboard and it's got an LCD monitor and a diamond plating, you know, right where the kid's dead face would be. And it lights up in the cross in the back. It lights up, see over here? What What's with that? So every ugly computer forum that I looked through had this guy on there. It's like several variations of it. But this is about as, the, as far as it goes for pictures, and I looked for video and I couldn't find it either. But that's a computer built into a child's coffin, and if you'll notice, there's a trophy beside it. So did he win some sort of modding contest with this computer? Oh, creepy as all hell. So let's move on to something a little less creepy and a little more nerdy. That's right, Battlestar Galactica fans. Attention, attention. It's time to get on board the Battlestar Galactica and Starbuck and the Cylons will, whatever words come from Battlestar, I don't know, I haven't watched in a long time. So this is actually like a pretty cool computer 
for about 2000 and what, two, 2004 maybe, way before RGB and tempered glass became a thing. And, you know, I could probably see, you know, going back a ways now, 15 years, if I saw this in person, I'd be like, wow, this guy really put a lot of work into this. But imagine having this on your desk nowadays. That would be an interesting computer to have. It has little landing bays. It looks like the Battlestar Galactica, you know, sign there. It's got this where the CD-ROM goes. Little LCDs here. And then, uh, you know what? I'd love to see if uh, this is a, a monitor built into the computer case. But when you click on it, that's, that's, the, the, that's the picture that pops up. It's smaller than the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> this has an EVGA Enforce uh, 590 SLI motherboard, an Athlon 64X2 6000 series, two EVGA GeForce 8800 GTS graphics cards and SLI, four gigabytes of RAM, 850 watt power supply. So pretty cool computer, I guess. If this if this would be like one of the least ones to make fun of here, because it's like at least a completed thought, you know. Unlike this next one, there's some Polaroids for you, and it's not making it any better is it you're like what the hell is that uh well it's a big water spray foam <laughs> it's a big water spray foam what an idea right it's such a good idea just spray from the crap out of your computer parts and away you go look it's got a little grab handle you can bring it with you to the land party guys look at my marshmallow oh it's got a CD-ROM holder, Sirius Sam, that's, that's good. Included CD case makes it easy for moving. It's got a 200 NC uh, CD-ROM, you know, so you know it's good. That's where your cooling comes from. And it's new Haas Platz, whatever that means. So this is about the ugliest, silliest idea I've ever seen. I have no idea why anyone would ever think of this and no one probably ever thought of it again, right? They made it worse. They spray foamed the computer into a milk crate and painted the top orange. What, what is that? <laughs> so this, I give this guy no points whatsoever. At least the last guy sort of tried a little bit. This just looks terrible. Uh, but if you really want to get into, uh, you know, a real decent spray foam mod job, I got one for you. Oh, there we go. Toxic Crusader, Toxy, took a dump on this computer and that's the leftover pieces. So at least this is a completed thought. I get that like, uh, you know, there's a baby, it's the dead baby from the coffin earlier. They put it in a jar in the front of this computer case. I don't understand that. I was just gonna say, it looks like some toxic waste fell on a computer and like it's all leaking and that's what the whole idea of the mod was. But what's the, with the dead baby in the glass jar? So weird. Yeah, spray foam. Not a thing you should be modding with. Stop it. It's a terrible idea. Moving on, even when it's got green goo on it. So this guy. Okay. Thought computer mod. This is function. Oh, uh, case made out of cooling fans. Peter Edge made this uh, out of 66 individual case fans. The computer inside is an Intel P4, 3 gigahertz Prescott CPU with an MSI MS6540 motherboard. Oh my goodness. So much cooling potential right here what an amazing computer and i tried to find like more pictures like a little bit more to talk about all of these things are so old that it's just like limited to a couple jpegs you know solidified in the depths of the internet so maybe i should build this computer ask noctua to sponsor it that would be cool i'm thinking about it full uh, a computer case made of case fans that would be a thumbnail all right yeah so that's a pretty good idea but um God, I bet it's so loud. And moving on. So, we go from totally practical to totally ridiculously dumb. My goodness. So, this isn't good. This is a computer made out of toilets. Anyways, it's like a P4 computer, maybe, if we're, if we're lucky. The guy spray painted duty all around it. So, we had um, a dead coffin for a dead baby. Well, this is... At least a little bit better. It's just a, a live baby's toilet. That's that's wonderful. It looks like he's got an ATI graphics card in there. I don't get how he hooks it up to a monitor. He just kind of shoved everything in there. It's got a burn proof, a burn proof uh, CD writer in there, so you know it's good. Uh, yeah, this is the stupidest computer I've ever seen. I I don't really understand what he was thinking here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it grows. Oh, okay. The requested content does not exist. 
Oh man. All right. Little flushable computer with a power supply sticking out the back of it. That's, that's what this whole thing is about. Shitting in computers. <laughs> Moving on. Oh yeah. That's just lovely. <laughs> Oh, there we go. So this is like an air conditioner. All right. And then you might think like, oh, cool, an air conditioner. Maybe he's going to like extreme cool a computer or make some sort of chiller. But oh my God, is there ever a lot of just there's some fans. Just does a little bit of uh, soldering with some copper. It goes on forever and it starts to look like a computer a little bit. And then he puts some computer parts in it and, you know, it's got an Athlon CPU of some sort in it. And he starts cooling, like, the chipset and the VRMs. And he starts cooling, like, every little thing, like the physics card. <laughs> and keep going, keep going. When is this ever going to end? And then you're like, what is the spaghetti wiring there? Or tubes, what is going on? Why is there fluorescent tubes in there coming everywhere? Well, you start to realize that he wanted that heat exchanger for all of its outlets so he could water cool everything in the computer the graphics card the the hard drives everything and that's what he came up with is this spaghetti neon green like no way this thing doesn't leak all the fucking place all over the place man there is no way and i wanted to like keep going he he does it to the power supply he puts water in the power supply with homemade sink heat sinks this forum goes on forever and i tried to find like i see here where he did the ram he's using some of those occ rams that have like a really big um, uh like a heat pipe coming out of them looks like he cut the heat pipe off and he put some water through them and uh but that's the last of the pictures except for if you you, you can find where he says hey more news i've i've actually made side covers but the images are gone so that is the weirdest computer mod i've ever seen a bunch of weird scraggly tubes bringing some water through a computer it's just there's no way it didn't leak all over the place that's ugly as all hell i'd love to know what the conclusion of this was if it actually worked and i tried to find a video of it i couldn't find anything so kudos to you man you over engineered the crap out of that computer and there there's no way you didn't have a chernobyl sized problem by the end it exploded the core exploded moving on all right, so this is the case that must not be named. So this is the one I nabbed for the little beginning there, the little title screen. And oh my God, this is the ugliest computer I've ever seen. It's like definitely spray foam again, or some sort of like uh, maybe, uh, what do you call that? When you hodgepodge stuff. He hodgepodged the computer and put like a pentagram with a green light in it. And this really scary mouth that looks like something out of Pee Wee Herman. So it had a P4, it's been retired, but it had a P4, 2.4 gigahertz. It was upgraded to a P4, 3 gigahertz, so calm down. And a Radeon 9700 Pro. And you can see there that he even made GIFs of what the, you know, the necromancing. Uh, oh, and there's a little face inside of it. Oh my God, that's creepy. So that is the epitome of early 2000s modding. I wouldn't want to have this in my house. There's no way this doesn't totally creep my son out and probably cause ghosts to come in and start browsing for ghost porn on my on the internet moving on you want a faux pink fur purple fur on a computer that that's what that is it looks like some sort of muppet if a muppet was a computer um that's the only yeah that's that's it there's this one here too i can only fit so many of them in here but we might as well look at this one this looks like a rock turd <laughs> That one is definitely paper mache, by the way. <laughs> the mini cooker PC case mod sounds strange, looks adorable. So someone took a little kid's oven with real light up um, burners at the top of it there and shoved a computer inside of it. And that's all. Um, so that's not necessarily as ugly as, as it is. Why? Like, what is the point of that? Like who went, oh, cool. You put your computer in a little oven. I guess some people do that to toasters, but I don't know. That's the weird. So th now we're going to get on to the last one and it's Tony Stark's. So be kind. Okay. Tony Stark was caught in a cave with no porn to look at. And he was like, I need to make a computer fast and hard. Like I like my pornography. So he made the Iron Man computer. 
okay? And this is the original Iron Man computer. It looks really, really good. And you see that Western Digital hard drive in there, you know, just in case you wanted to know what kind of hard drive it was. And they took the Silverstone case and they made the arc reactor in the front that doesn't really look that good. And some, uh, you know, water cooling with some fluorescent green because that was just a thing at the time. Everyone used fluorescent green tubes and, and used probably uh, plumbing uh, antifreeze and made it happen. But yeah, that's the Iron Man case. A lot of work went into this. This one as well won some awards uh, I saw around the internet. Yeah, that's not the ugliest one, but I thought, heck, let's end on a good one. No, not a baby coffin. So that was the new series. Um, if you can find uglier computers than those ones, feel free to email me, me at timmyjoe.com. I would love to maybe do another couple episodes of this, but I don't imagine. Like, let's maybe look for ugly, mo more modern computers. Send me the, like, ugly, modern-ish, like, modern computers, and we'll, we'll do, like, an updated uh, non-2000s era episode here, and we'll see what we can get done. But uh, by far, the creepiest thing I've ever considered was putting a dead baby's casket and turning that into a computer mod. That freaks me out, man. I couldn't even go near that thing, I don't think. So yeah, at Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter, I want to thank Ivacy for sponsoring the video. I, I don't know if it was good or not, but <laughs> there's some seriously ugly PC modding going on in the early 2000s, man. Just like next level P4, you know, spray foam junk. Like what? what is going on? What is that? Is that a speaker? I don't know. So I'm not watching TV show Instagram and Twitter. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I hope you enjoyed this little break from NVIDIA super, you know, whatever, graphics card coverage. Because that's what everyone's doing today. But I don't get to do that. So we'll look up weird gross computers on the internet. And I'll see you guys in another episode. Thank you very much.